am a river. After that, I take a good swig from my hip flask, and I'm all relaxed. Got everything? Tetanus-inducing rust and unsecured power cables as far as the eye can see. Oh, <laughs> time I got out of here. Will you cut that out? You can have a sip if you want to. That doesn't mean that you can siphon the whole bottle. So why don't you make yourself clearer next time? Will you cut that out? You can have a sip if you want to. That doesn't mean that you can siphon the whole bottle. So why don't you make yourself clearer next time? Tetanus and... <laughs> Oh, crap! No! Oh. Doc lied to me. I mean, I did everything right, didn't I? Break a thing for luck? I don't need luck. I've got expertise. Will you cut that out? You can have that does so why don't you Hi there. Huh? What? Oh I have some keep Could you show of course just like Choose a point on the horizon and stare at it. What's wrong? You're not fixating at all. That's right. I have now not been up. After that, I got him. it all along. You don't need yoga if you're resourceful. Leg behind the head? Check. Fixate horizon? Check. Here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I think it's working, but I can't feel my tongue around this. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Once again, nice and easy. Da la la da da li 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 li. Yes. Da la la da da li 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 li. Rufus, Rufus, yeah. Huh. Oh, you're quite heavy, babe. And I thought you were making yourself extra heavy when I lugged you up the hill just now. Never mind. The controls are exposed, and there's a circuit diagram. This'll be easy as pie. Yeah, now we're really going places. Check it out, babe. Seventy, seventy, seventy. Oh, Rufus, you really are the best. True, so very true. <laughs> if you like that, then you'll love what's coming next. Oh, yeah. Look, the rails are still warm. What? Don't say you've already got one of these new infrared visors. Um... No. My beard sonar has gone to red alert. They have to be somewhere close by. I'll send a helmet fax to the bailiff immediately. You two are shitting me, right? Hold on for a second. My shoulder seismograph is giving me strange readings. You're right. I feel it too. Uh, um, guys. Strange? According to the sole barometer in my boot, the ground pressure hasn't changed. My sock spectrometer is still processing the data. Um. Guys, so it can't be an earthquake. Wait, my kneecap ultrasound detector is registering strange readings from... I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm not an easy man to break. <laughs> they call him Rufus. Rufus. And what a sight. The Lower Ascension Station. Ah, I did it once again. 
You see that? I did it. I, I, I. Oops. Maybe I should get you to a place that is a little more comfortable. Luckily, it'll be a downhill ride from here. So, do you want to be carried? Which would be plain boring. Or, do you prefer the fun and fast way? Yeah! Historians would die for a way to decipher Apparently missing text passages here They still found no reasons why scratches and lesions Related to gold subsequently appear But then why should it bother you? For he finally managed to haul her more or less unharmed to the rendezvous spot And that was without expecting any pay Except for the reward for taking it's not about the context So get on with the plot Huzzah, get on with the plot Well, you'll be safe here for now. We just need to wait for your fiancé to show up. <laughs> that Cletus guy is really a lucky fella. I hope he'll keep his promise. Well, now we just have to wait. I guess I should search for a way up to the platform on top of the tower. The view should be good from up there. A one fish of the day, please. Ugh, I should have said which day. All the good fish. I'm not leaving it for the maggots. Ha! There they come, already cheering. No, just a minute. They're declining. Cute. The switches change the lights. There are three on this side and one on the other. Hmm. Whoopsie daisy. Aha, one off, two on. I'm getting there. Oh, this selects the flavor of the cotton candy. Huh, seems to be broken. I'm sure I have to solve this lever problem first. I know how things are going down here. Three and three. That's six, isn't it? I've had that before. Oh, still broken. They're all prime numbers. What if I calculate cross totals? What if I calculate cross totals? What if I calculate cross totals? They're all prime numbers. They're all prime numbers. They're all... Oh, still broken. had that before they're all prime numbers I'll get there eventually I've had that before oh, still 
broken. What if I calculate cross totals? Mm, still broken. I have to think binary. I have to think binary. They're all prime numbers. No, still broken. I have to think binary. Hey. What the? A plug? Oh, man. Not really. You crazy? It can't be that easy. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Yummy. Skewered. They have those. Wow! Any food enough? Mmm! Oh, yum! Oh, I wanted to have with the stick anyway. You don't even taste the sugar. Now it's set to calzone. My dad always told me life is like a calzone. Only those who chew thoroughly will notice the rat's teeth. Now it's set to fuck. You could read in the dark on the toilet after eating that. Chewing gum. And what? Hmm. Huh. Voice control. You could read in the dark on the toilet after eating that. This doesn't say anything. There's a dancing with a hat and a cane. <laughs> I'll keep the rest for later. Much later. Come on, be useful! Huh, a group in a... with cocktails and colorful t or... It, it's hard to make out any... Huh, the, a group of trash crabs in a... with cock or... it's hard to make...
Hey, my epic Gregorian choir is back. I thought I'd left that. depicts the upper class leaving the planet. The lower class remains behind. Whoa, those guys are really fed up. They shout at the traitors and shove barbecue lighters and sausages on giant forks in their faces. Must have been barbecue Thursday. I believe there's a tool that was at least, I think, totally. Mosaic depicts uh, a bunch of little guys. They seem to be building something. The raggedy clad little guys carry giant steel girders up a steep ramp. The fancily clad ones stand at the side and design fancy ornaments. Hey, that's the Ascension Station, the departure to Elysium. And I'm there too. Yeah, that would really be super but as long No, don't. You'll hit the reactor and there'll be a nuclear time loop. How can I prevent that from happening? You can't. One of us has to sacrifice himself. Rock paper scissors. Damn. Cool. I should try that at the... That's much more... I should try that at the pond. That's much more fun. Water doesn't have to be clean. At least I don't think so. Brilliant. Of oh. Okay. Mmm. Foamy.
can't believe I'm doing this. I hope the historians will never learn about this bit. Crap, the mop broke. <laughs> what an unfortunate occurrence. Huh, the mosaic depicts the cable boat leaving Deponia, just like I will be doing soon. And, hey, 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 someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. At least, it's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Crap. Someone has scribbled some. It must be the password. At least, it's written exactly. Now, we'll have to... There are still more pieces. Well, no problem. I'll have that solved in no time. Huh? Why doesn't this fit? I guess I'll just have to press harder. Still not right. <laughs> I'll get there. Go in. Go in. Damn thing. You're supposed to... Oops. Uh-oh. What about the elevator code now? Damn it. Huh. But the chewing gum still looks all right. Ugh but it's no better than it was before. The system reboots. <laughs> the code for the elevator has been reset. Here comes the new one. <laughs> Something really cool. R-U-F-U-S. Oh yeah. R U F U. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? The password is Rufus. I've said it myself. Or have I gone crazy? Well, so far so good. Now I just have to wait. Hmm? What's that sound? An Organon cruiser? What are they doing here? Is this a trap? Is Cletus an ally of the Organon? Well, I guess I'll have to take a closer look to find out. Holy smoke, those are the same Organons that were threatening gold. Maybe they caught that Cletus guy. Yeah, I knew he'd be a wimp. So what am I gonna do now? I guess it's better to remain hidden. Maybe I can find out something useful.
And you're sure that this Rufus character is naive enough to bring your fiancé here? Absolutely. He's a self-centered, greedy rat. The expectation to get to Elysium will lure him here. A greedy rat? Why, that lousy... I really don't understand what you see in this woman, Cletus. As far as I'm concerned, she's simply an unpredictable risk for our joint venture. Believe me, after everything she did, I'd prefer to leave her behind on Deponia too. But I need the Ascension Codes to return to Elysium. And unfortunately, those codes are only stored in her brain implant. No goal, no Ascension Codes. And without Ascension Codes, there's no joint venture. I don't like it. Ulysses will have us both executed if he finds out that your companion is... Shush. There he comes. Annie's Bailiff! Report! There's still no trace of the Deponian, Prime Controller, uh, sir. Then what are you waiting for? Carry on with your search. Even through this drone, the stench is unbearable. At last, it's time to put our plan into action. Yes, as you wish, Prime Controller, sir. <coughs> Let's get to work. The faster we're done here, the better. I entirely agree. I'll have a look around the platform to see if this Rufus has already arrived. You'd better stay in the background. We can't risk that rat bailing out on us before we have the Ascension Codes. Wait a minute. That Cletus guy, he looks just like me. Maybe not as attractive as me, but how can that be? And I don't like what they were talking about. I didn't get everything they said, but they're certainly up to no good. And I can never allow gold to fall into the Organon's hands. First, I'm gonna have a word with this Cletus. Junk help him if he tries to deceive me. Cletus, Rufus, finally, I face you. Rob, it's me facing you. That's what you think. I was facing you at least three seconds earlier. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. Enough with the discourtesies. Where is Gold? She's safe. Well, that's just perfect. Genius? No, you're the genius. We had a deal. You were supposed to bring gold to me, and then I'd have taken you to Elysium. No goal, no deal. So what now? What's the agreement between you and the Organon? Well, why shouldn't I just tell you? Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia, boom. Boom? Yes. Boom! The whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast? Of course they do. We placed the order years ago. What do you think the Organons do all day? Delouse their mechanical beards? What will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, scientifically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Theologically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the surface was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, rumors started to appear. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia, they said. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And now guess who this inspector is? Uh... I am, you troglodyte! I see. Oh, one thing that I don't understand. Besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, why didn't the Organon report that there are people on Deponia? They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose customs duties, they block trading routes, and they steal babies in the northern quadrant. Which, uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses had his reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay, that means that Deponia won't be blown up, right? Hmm. No, wrong. Ulysses explained it to me. 
and we've come to an agreement. My report to the elders will state that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Deponia will be blown up after all. Mm, do you have any problems with that? I mean, what's it to you? <laughs> You'll be safe in Elysium when that happens, won't you? Well, you do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but... All right, great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh, yes. How much do you hate Deponia? I deserve better. That I highly doubt. Okay, let's just say I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. Say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The wash basin is leaking, the toilet overflows, the fridge is empty, and the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months. And then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, tidy up for once, get it into your thick skulls. The whole planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash. We eat junk. You want me to get my ass into gear? You can wash my ass disappear. I'm going where potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds. What can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway? Be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town? The job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want? Count me out. You hear me, dad? Count me out. And you know something else? I hope you fell into a manure tank. I'll wave goodbye when I pass you on my way to Elysium. Look at me. Who's the filthy little litter bug now? Huh? Who's the litter bug now? <sighs> Okay, you really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? I'll go and fetch gold, finally. Ugh, no. This will only make it slippery and disgusted. Ugh, I wonder what Cletus's pillow looks like. Deadly projectile weapon. Check. Ammunition. Check. Battle stations. Keep calm, Argus. We're on a junk planet here. I'm rather surprised that this lamp didn't blow up earlier. Just like this whole planet should. So please carry on. What clean Whoopsie Daisy. Together with the lampshade, the flag looks exactly like Cletus's cape. Now all that's missing is the greasy hairdo. This'll be even cooler than my old lampshade routine. I don't need light for my inventory. 
I sort everything according to an infallible... Hey, where's my bucket? Hmm. Cletus really needs a hook. First a right one, then a left one, and then one straight on the chin. Maybe this could sweeten my task, but more likely it'll just make it stickier. Maybe this could sweeten my task, but more likely it'll just make it stickier. The password... I don't need light for my inventory. I sort everything according to an infallible... Hey, where's my bucket? I don't need light for... I sort everything according to an infallible... Hey, where's my bucket? Better to be safe than... I don't need light for my inventory. I sort ev- Hey! I don't need- I sort- Hey! Where's my bucket? Maybe this could sweeten, but more- Maybe this could spot more- Better to be safe than- Maybe this could sweeten my task, but more likely it'll just make it stickier. Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Now, weren't you supposed to be waiting out on the platform? Well, I just wanted to stretch my legs for a minute. You can't really see very much from up there anyway. <clears throat> Somehow, I don't like your attitude. Well, everyone else loves my attitude. I hope you didn't forget about our agreement. How could I? So, you do have the cartridge. Uh... Yes? Well, where is it? Oop, I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> I must have left it out on the platform. Hurry up, man. Time is running out. The Organon said something about a backup cartridge. No, that is none of your business. You take me to go, and I'll take you along to Elysium. We didn't agree on anything beyond that. So I guess we won't be trading junk ball cards. No. I need the backup cartridge. Oh, I'll have to disappoint you. It won't help your lack of brain capacity, I'm afraid. I still need it. And what, pray tell, do you need it for? Goal is unconscious. What did you do? Was her implant damaged? Don't worry, she's okay. Yes, yes, okay, great. But what about the implant? Is the implant still working? I think so, yeah. What do you mean you think so? Without Gold's implant, I'll never be able to leave Deponia! So why don't you give me that damn cartridge so I can go and wake her up? Yes, yes, okay, fine. Here's the cartridge. But as soon as she's awake, you'll bring her here immediately. Understand? And God help you if the implant is damaged. You really love her, don't you? Genius. <laughs> Let's go.
This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Well? Well, what? The cartridge. Did you find it? Of course. Here it is. Don't panic. Where? I can hardly make out anything. And why are you lurking around in the shadows like that, anyway? Come into the light where I can see you, man. I, uh... Well... But my dear Bailiff, I beg of you a bit more courtesy. Don't forget, we're all working to reach the same goal here. Let the Ambassador pass. The faster he finds this Rufus person, and by extension the Ascension Codes, the sooner we can follow through with our mission. As you wish, sir. I do believe that the Ambassador has very well understood the seriousness of our current situation. I'm sure he is aware that he has only this one chance to retrieve the Ascension Codes. And if that fails, we'll employ our own methods of retrieving them. Isn't that right, Ambassador? Uh, of course, sir. <clears throat> oh boy, I think I can get rid of it. I doubt they'll fall for that. before that Argus guy does. Maybe there's a train. A one fish of the day. Ugh, I should have said which day. This says, discard cotton candy leftover. Ah, and the week and there I was beginning. That's eh, bright enough. I wouldn't have seen that trace of it. I've been here before. As a kid, fought Benny. I never saw him again. It's bright enough as it is. It glows gently in the dark. Mm. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. I'll save my tele... I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later.
The cotton candy still isn't glowing bright enough. I should try to look at this problem from another angle. Better to be safe than sorry. with an extra helping of phosphor. Yummy! Better to be safe than sorry. Safe and soft. 